Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Longhorns have put a stranglehold on the number one spot in the polls. This team has maintained its focus. They've remembered the hard work, the effort, the energy, the dedication they put in way back in the summer that gets them to this point. And you just get a feeling that they're not about to have a face plant now. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Miller from the eight. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. The Longhorns, been talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself, and I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcomes. And I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. He's into the open field. He's at the 30. He goes down at the 26. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. And he's tackled at the three. The Longhorns always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. First down. First and goal. You're going to go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. Scrambling around. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 64-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. So the score now, 7-0. Atkins has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. Room around the corner. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. He made a good cut up field, got a few blocks, and they were able to come up with a decent return. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Mike three, Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 40. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, keep credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. From the 40-yard line, first down. With 
the pass, incomplete. Quick throw. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 36-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 38. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's a team of seven on the play. Third down. Texas is up a score. And they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Passes to the back, incomplete. This is simply just a miscommunication between a quarterback and a running back. You, know, you don't see the quarterback throwing very often to the running back, and in this case, maybe it got him out of rhythm. He's tackled right around the 50. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Five wide. He stopped immediately. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Got the corner. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 35. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. <laughs> Mike three! Mike three! Dog four! And he throws it away. You know, when 
you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From the 34-yard line, third down. He's got it with room to run. Tackle made right around the 18-yard line. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 7-0, Texas. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. their eyes on that goal line let's see if they try to pound it in here both teams have their goal line sets on the field touchdown Kansas they'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game he splits the uprights with the extra point Go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. The Mustangs, they have no qualms about opening it up early. They do just that, going up top for the first touchdown of the game. SMU in front, 7-0. Meanwhile, off we go to San Antonio. The Bears snag a pick six and strike first. Baylor leads it, 7-0. And for Kansas, they control their own destiny to hold their position in those conference standings. Kansas lines up for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. Tackle at the 32. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He airs it out. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Second and 10, ball on the 32. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick out to his receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 41. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. It. He's immediately tackled behind the line. A one-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Let's go. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 36-yard line, first down. Some open field. Brought down around the 24 yard line. That's good for a 12 yards. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw in. 
incomplete. One on his receiver. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. It's second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's a two 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 that makes it first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Touchdown, Longhorns. And he adds the extra point. Texas yet set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Throws complete, he's hit right away. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball in the 29. to about the 37-yard line. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. Jayhawks will use their first time out of the half. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Crew gains four yards on that reception. It across the middle. He's taken down around the 50 yard line. He's under some heat. Strike to his receiver, no good. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Is one for the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. Butler's right now just having his way with this defense. And through two quarters, or most of two quarters, he's controlled the football game. And some adjustments are going to have to be made at halftime on the defensive side. Kirk. Well, the defense is going to have to do something because if this trend continues, there's no way that this football team can come back and win the game. I look for this defense to load the line of scrimmage, just get really aggressive, take some chances. What the heck? At this point, anything's going to help their cause. So get more aggressive in the second half and see what they can do. A minute left in the half. Texas up seven points. Let's go. Yeah. 
There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Caught with room to work. And they make the stop at the 50-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's immediately tackled. Tries to buy some time. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Lucky 95. They come out on an empty backfield. He fires. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. Hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. And now he's got room to run. Touchdown, Texas! He's got two touchdowns on the ground today. This is a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare, is having to defend a quarterback that has an ability to run the football. He's already scored twice in his first half, and the defensive coordinator needs to start accounting for him and his ability to run the football. And he converts the extra point. Atkins is lined up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. He scrambled. Decides to slide. from their own 28-yard line. Second down. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Longhorns lead it by two touchdowns. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The big fellas on the offensive line dominating this game right now. I mean, the defensive linemen in the pass rush, they've got no shot of having any idea of what's going on with the quarterback. They can't even reach it. Well, you know what? It's nice to be a quarterback that sits back in the pocket and he kind of pats the football once, twice, three times. And then Reese, he scrambles and runs around because he's bored. That's what he did in the first half. I mean, the protection could not have been any better. The quarterback had all day to throw the football. If that doesn't change, it's going to be a long second half. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. The Longhorns continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Just throws this one away.
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22. This guy is mostly used to stop the run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. Throws incomplete. Not a very impressive set of downs. Quarterback just doesn't seem to be throwing very confidently. That'll make it fourth and ten. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. Wallace fields at the 44, and he's taken down at the 50. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And that one's incomplete. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 50. Quick pass. Tackle made at about the 47 yard line. That makes it 37. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 36 yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. From the 36-yard line, it's first down, five wide. He makes his way to about the 22. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, Longhorn. job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he tacks on the extra point. A six play, 50 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Price fields it at the two, and he's tackled at the 25 yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. can get it it bounces out of bounds the ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it from their own 27 yard line third down Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Morris was the intended target on the play, and that'll make it fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Collins is the punter.
takes it out to about the 44-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Blue 14! Blue 14! Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Out of bounds at the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Makes it to the 37. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Ready! Blue and yellow! And a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 27 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Come on, come on. Ready! Ready! He's into the open field. Makes it to the 11. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. First and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. at the 15 and that run got stuck yeah you're right the defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there the 10 tackle at about the three yard line that's a deal 12 on the ground That'll bring up third and two. Here's the eighth play of the series. Had protection, now scrambles. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Atkins gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 21. Butler's performance today showing just how good he really is. Yeah, he's both mentally and physically tough, Brad. I mean, he really has the ability to carry this team, make smart decisions, and he really hangs on to the football well. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. He gets sacked on the play. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play.
Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. 31-7, Texas. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Wallace will be the return man. Wallace fields it at the 41. Tackle at the 40-yard line. The Longhorns came out from the opening kick, and they just imposed their will in this game. Just a complete effort. You can look at the numbers. You can see that the stats show the offense has put up the numbers. The defense has done their job. It's about as good as you could hope for. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 35-yard line. the tailback brought down around the 32 yard line there's some daylight and he's tackled at the 20 yard line first down From the 20-yard line, first down. Here we go. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That brings us second and nine. convert here on another third down a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away. And it splits the uprights. And it 
Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Hall fields it at the three. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Longhorns defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. And he tackles him hard at the 31-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. The Jayhawks will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. We have less than a minute to go. Red two, green up. Caught out of the open. They'll bring him down right around the 40. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. the 49. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Caught with room to work. He is drilled to 39 yard line. Makes it to the 27. From the 27 yard line. First down. Black five, black five, three, and he throws it away. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Third, and ten. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. Today we saw a game that wasn't even close. 34-7, Longhorn. And the Kansas That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.